Hi everyone, this is Healy Master Healer coming to you guys with a quick teacher message. Um, I want to talk about grief and loss. This is something a lot of people don't really talk about much, but it's something that uh, my team and I, we specialize in, in grief and loss out there. And um, one of the things that I've seen with a lot of times um, with clients coming over the last couple of years, and I've picked up because I, I specialize in um, emotions, kinesiology also too. Because I can tell a lot about, I'm the only emotion skin is only black um, from North America. That specializes in other emotions and different things. And I can tell what's going on in your body and, and certain things like that. But um, we want to talk about grief and loss because a lot of you guys could be going through um, grief and loss. And don't realize that is what have you feeling sick. This is what blocking you in your life. And um, if you guys want to know more, you can always go to the spiritualfixer.com and book your reading. And um, one of the things that I want to say that um, when we're talking about grief and loss here, is that I've seen many times where clients come to me over the years um, for readings and stuff now. And they didn't realize that they were going through that, they, was going through, they, they, they haven't gotten over the grief from a, a lost one for years and they didn't realize that until i've proven to them where that is grief they're still holding on to you know some people can be grieving from a job i've seen where people still grieving because they get attached to the job that they was on and maybe they was working in that job for like a couple of years well and then they get laid off and they never catch yourself to this day they're still stuck and they never get the right help and that's why I want to tell you guys, help is here. And that's why you have to book your reading, you know, in order for me to help you, to get to the root cause of the problem, you know. So don't forget to go to the spiritualfactor.com. You're going through any grief and loss, you, um, and you, you're still having problems, you, you know, you, you want my team and I to, um, to, to get to the root cause of it and rectify the problem, you know. But I can't tell you anything until you book your reading, you know. TheSpiritualFixer.com, but um, but one of the things I want to say is that grief and loss goes on with a lot of, uh, among a lot of people um, from all different walks in life. I met I met somebody the other day and um, I'm a, an individual came get a reading and um get to realize the person been grieving over a pet. You know when when we finished the reading. Um, he realized that um, it wasn't the it wasn't the, um, it was the grief from his pet that that he still up to this day um, st still um, hurting, you know. So uh, grief, could, grief and loss, um, you could it could be a lot. It's not just heartbreak. A lot of people think it's because you lost a, a loved one. Somebody passed away, or, or um, whether it's a child, whether it's a, um, a husband or wife. No, a lot of people grieve. Some people grieve over the pets, just like they call, uh, we grieve grief over our lost one. You know, my grief was my grief was um, over my grandmother. You know, yeah, it took me years. You know, I didn't realize that. You know. And um, I had somebody in my team that worked with me um, to, 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 to get it, to get over it, you know. No, you, don't, you never get over grief, you know. You just live with it, you know. That's how I look at it, you know. To me, just from my personal opinion, I just look at it, you know, because you're still always going to think about the person. Some days you just reminisce about them. Sometimes the birthday come around, things like that, you know. But you, you don't break down and go in a dark place or go in depression, you know. That's the good thing about it when you get the right you get the right help. You know what I'm saying? No? Yeah, it took me years, you know what I mean? No? My grandmother died in ninety seven, you know, and um I didn't realize I was grieving for years, you know. Yeah, I was grieving for years. You know, all right, my grandmother died in summer, um, I think June twenty second, you know. Yeah, ninety seven, you know. I felt it when she passed away, you know. And um I was in a party, you know. And I told my boy, I said, yo, I'm telling you, my grandmother just passed away. I said, I could feel it, you know. And then we was heading home, you know. 
I was in the Caribbean, just before I was flying back up here. I was in the Caribbean, you know, and uh, I went straight home, you know. Back then, after the party, we went KFC, pick up some. So it's like five in the morning, you know. You gotta get some some um, KFC, you know. And uh, get some KFC back then. And as I reach home, you know, and I hear the phone ring, six a.m. in the morning. I know that was the call. So that's when they close their family, when they're spiritually connected, you know, you can know, you're supposed to know certain things, you know. So I know, I felt it that night. It was like 2 in the morning, you know, just 2 o'clock in the morning, right there. I know my grandmother had passed away because we, we were like, we were like Bonnie and Clyde, you know what I'm saying, you know? So I know, and it was 2 in the morning because I was in the party and everything, everything was going good. And then something hit me like 2 in the morning, you know. After that, I couldn't catch myself. I just talk, tell my boy that, you know, just lean up, and I felt it, you know, yeah, and when I reach home, 6 o'clock, the phone ring, I already don't know where it was already, you know, yeah, so, that's how it is sometimes, you know, and um, it took me years, you know, and I didn't realize that, because even the year when, when, when my grandmother passed away, in June, and I fly back up here, I didn't break down till like late August, and I break down. I break down in South Carolina by my dad. You know what I'm saying? I was in um, Augusta, South Carolina. At that time, by my dad. And I break down down there. Everybody used to tell me, but how come you're not crying? Well, I couldn't cry. I couldn't I could let it out. But it took me like three months. It took me like a few months. You understand? Know June, July, August. Yeah, two months. Yeah. So, yeah, two, two months before I really break down, you know? Yeah, I was playing all tough and stuff, man. Yeah, I just, I just couldn't, I couldn't, I just break down, you know. Cry for like a week straight, every day. You know, so I know that pain, you know what I'm saying, you know. But I've learned to embrace it, you know, and live with it, you know. Live with our loved one, you know. And, uh, yeah, and, and that, that, that's some of the things that um, people go through. You know, some people will not, some people won't be able to, to some people straight up um, never get over a, 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 a loved one or even a pet. They never, they're still, they, 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 they're in a, a dark spot. They, 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 they're like in a mental prison. It's like a mental block. Some people just have a mental block, but you have to know to snap it out of them. It's, it's a special way you have to do things. And it's a spiritual component also too um, that happens with mental health. Um, that's why a lot of some, uh, I'm not going to knock no therapist, but some of these therapists suck because if you have somebody for all these years and this person passed away and you're be, uh, uh, on your watch, you know what I'm saying? Something wrong. And you've seen a lot of these young people who passed in a way, um, who, who go into mental health and stuff. All of them had therapists. And some of these therapists are using old time methods, you know. They're not working. That's the thing. And a few people out here, including myself and my team, are really um, helping people in some of these situations. You know, snapping them. Yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a spiritual component. And it's only a few people know how to um, use that spiritual component to get them out of that funk. It, 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 it's something, it will zap you out. You know, my system, you know, because I created my system, you know, to help people grief and loss and people who go into mild depression. You know, a lot of young people, um, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a, I, I, I told you that. I have a lot of people that come to me and I snap them out of it, you know, because I was heading on a dark, slippery slope. You know, not everybody will be able to help, you know what I'm saying, you know? but um, yeah. Some people want quick fixes. No, you got to put in the work. You got to put in certain work. It might take you like 90 days. You know, it take, um, get you out of it. You know, it'll happen sooner. It'll, you will feel a shift. You know, after after a month working with me. But but it'll take you like three, three to six months to really get you back on track now. And it have a lot to do with your environment too that you're in. So all these things too, we have to... Um, we have to look at, you know, the environment, the people that you have around you, who was with you before. All these things play a lot with, with, with some people. Um, 
um, in, in a dark depression state, you know. So all these things, guys, you know, we we, we have to um, we have to we have to um, pay attention, you know. Yeah. So I hope that um, this message makes sense when coming to grief and loss. Because as I say, you know, you can lose a job. Some people take it on. Some people can move. And you're going through grief and loss too. Some of you guys might move from a different state to a next state. And you're, you're missing the last state you came from. You can't get over. You're still, you're still attached. You still have energy strands from that last state. You know? And sometimes you might need to clear those energy strands. You know? So all these different things, you know? But grief, grief is not easy. You know? Losing a loved one. And being in, being in a dark place, dark, deep place, where you know, where you might go, you might say it's mental health, but sometimes it be it's be a, sp a spiritual component. You know, some of you guys too might be spiritual. Not everything is witchcraft, but some of you guys it, it does be spiritual and it turn into something like mental health, but it put you have you in like in a mental prison. So I've seen it many times too. You know, and that is why you guys need to book your reading, you know, with the spiritualfactor.com in order to find the root cause of the problem, you know. And then we can tackle it, you know, because you guys know I don't show nobody how I do my work. I don't tell anybody anything because you have a lot of people spying, a lot of people trying to know how this one, that one, you know, no. So you want to know anything, you book your reading, and then we'll take it from there, you know. If you connect, you move on to the next day. It's simple as that. It's in, it's, in, it's in hard to figure that out. But definitely when coming to grief and loss, it have a spiritual component in it in order for me to snap you out of it. And then I'll turn you on to the team and they take it to the next level, you know. And sometimes that might take like three months, you know. 90 days. You might have to put in some work for 90 days. But most of the times I have people turn around in, in 90 days time, you know. We're going to grief and loss. Some people might want to move on. They, they, they might want to do our next 90 days again. It all depends. But I don't have people around. I don't have people that long with me. But with me, my work, you know, is quick. You know, not quick fix. But in, in 90 days, it's be tough, you know. But we do the spiritual component um, first. And then we do um, the therapy part, you know. So everybody have their, their own system. That's why that will make me. That will make the spiritual fixer and, and, and team great because we have a system here, and my system is successful. My testimony speak for itself. I told you guys that. Check out all my testimonies. You know, people write their own testimonies for themselves, and I put it up. You know, and that's how it is. You know, I gotta show nobody nothing. You guys see all my reading skills. You see my predictions. I'm the only one from the Caribbean. I've been on fire for 2021. You know? As I say, I know you guys like celebrities, but I don't have time for that, you know? I'm healing. I'm doing a lot of spiritual work and, and healing, turning people's lives around, you know? You guys want to study celebrities. Them celebrities don't care about you guys. You guys need to study when the next um, um, virus come in in time for fall or something like that, you know? Because the next vi virus is going to be dread. I've been telling you guys, warning you guys, you know? Worry about the next virus, stop saying them celebrities and them. You know, we want to be entertained and what going on with this one and that one. No, we need to worry about inflation. We need to worry about um, a lot of different things, you know. We have a midterm election coming up. It's going to be crazy in this country, you know. You guys didn't see nothing yet. And everybody distracted with sports and this and that. You guys need to stay focused. Stuck up, stuck up you know. Get your freezer. Get your generator. Get your power supplies. In case when the internet go down. All these things. These are the things you guys need to stuck up on. Don't depend on no government. No government is not going to save you. You have no savior coming. No savior is coming to save us. That is just hope um, people have been selling for years. You have to save yourself and your family and your few friends that you, that you have. You guys come together. That is what you do. No savior coming to save no one, nobody, no, no um, no government coming to save you. 
You're on your own. We all are on our own. And I've been telling all you that all the time. Forget that nonsense. You're on your own. Nobody's not going to hand you anything. Especially us black folks. Nobody's handing us anything. Nobody's giving us anything on no platter. You got to go get it. You got to go get it out there. You have a gift, use it. Turn it into a talent. Turn it into a business. Use it to your advantage. Use it, give. All right? So, peace, love, and blessings. I hope this makes sense. And um, definitely, um, you guys um, will um, go and check any grief and loss. Make sure I'm, I'm book your reading, spreadshotfixer.com. And don't forget, guys, I don't do any more request videos. So don't ask me to request any celebrity or anything. Every month, I drop my celebrity um, prediction. That's it. All right? Peace, love, and blessings. Bye.